there are 64 million athletes in the US, elites and amateurs alike, that are compromising their safety and performance as a result of involuntary dehydration. This is happening because athletes have no better method to manage their hydration than guessing. And that method leaves them getting it wrong up to 80% of the time. I'm Meredith Unger, founder and CEO of NYX. So this is the patch base sensor. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna peel these off and put it probably on your hand. So we just got the sensor on Mike. We're gonna have him do two laps. Hopefully that's enough to get him to start sweating. And really what we're looking for is just his baseline reading. So we're trying to get enough sweat, about 10 microliters of sweat into that sensor to get a sense of where he is right now. You've got a baseline of a four. And right now it's got the electrolyte indicator on. So it means the sweat you're producing is higher in electrolytes. So you would interpret this as basically looking for a replenishing drink with some electrolytes in it, like a Gatorade or something like that. So when I had the fortunate opportunity to come back to HBS and, and think about a venture, hydration sensing was very much on my mind. And so as I was looking at different technologies in the Harvard portfolio, and I was thinking about market opportunities, combining that with the fact that I had recently run my first marathon and really struggled with hydration myself, it kind of came together as an area that I thought would be really fascinating. And realizing there was a massive space in between where we could leverage the importance of some of the biosensors, of measuring things that people care about that are relevant to health and wellness, but ideally taking some of the benefits of consumer wearables where they are simple and consumer facing and more affordable. We have a story that resonates with people. Hydration's really fundamental. People get it um, and, uh, and we have good success when we pitch consequences of dehydration, as I'm sure you know, can be serious. Up to 12 athletes die every year from heat and uh, dehydration. But even mild dehydration carries with it a 20 First and foremost, be confident and figure out the body language and the tone of your voice and making eye contact and all of those sorts of things that are gonna show that you absolutely know what you're talking about. Um, it's very easy if you get nervous to say um and like and especially when you're nervous it's hard to really convey anything clearly. Branding. I see so many pitch decks where people have put no time and effort into the branding and it's easy to think, especially if you're biotech or renewable energy or something really tech enabled, it's easy to think that your tech speaks for itself and you don't need a brand or if you're a B2B company or something like that um, and I couldn't disagree more. When you have a deck that shows that you know your stuff and you have your stuff together, that conveys that confidence. Number three, never try to memorize your pitch. Um, you're gonna come across as so much more confident and so much more articulate about the problem if you're just having a conversation with your audience. And it's hard to do that when your pitch is timed and most of the time when you are in a competition or something like that, you've got two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes. Um, but if you try to memorize it, you will be nervous, you will probably stumble over your words and that will trip you up completely. I think the telling of a good story is way more important and there's so many parts of that. I mean, obviously your idea has to have some merit, so it's it's not 0% based on, you know, having a, a good story, but the telling of your story I think can be so much more impactful. I think entrepreneurs underestimate how much investors are really just looking at you. It's less about the merit of your concept and, you know, so many good companies fail because they didn't have the right team. but. You can have a mediocre concept that actually does extraordinarily well because the team was really successful.